Hi, today we're going to make polybugs. What's buzzing around your house? In our garden, there's all kinds of beneficials like ladybugs and bumblebees. Join us, we'll make some. It'll be a lot of fun. Hi, this is Tweek. Have you ever caught a ladybug before? It's good luck. Supposedly, it's good luck. I believe it is. They're so cute. And when you give a ladybug to a friend, that's also a sign of good luck. So let's make some poly ladybugs. And here we go. These are earring backs. If you're into jewelry at all, you would make your earrings and hang them off that little hoop. But what I did was I took these two pieces off here. There's a little tiny spring and a little tiny bead. I took them off. You have this part here. And I take my handy dandy cutter and I just snip off the one end, which I can use later if I wish to as a hook. And here's the antenna that I'm gonna use for the bugs. And we have beads for eyes. Oh, there's different kinds of antennas here. That'll be fun. And so what I like to do is just get the stuff set aside so you know what your options are. I used iridescent beads and I used about the size bead that I thought would look good in with the bug. Let's go for the clay, big black like this. I'm gonna use my warmth of my hands and just start squishing the clay. So I'm gonna take a chunk of it and I'm going to roll it into a cylinder. Let's see what we got here. A little bit thinner, maybe. And now I'm going to take my little knife and I'm going to just slice chunks. One, just random slices. Okay, I've got some chunks. I'm going to take each one and I'm going to roll it. Now I want these to be about the size of a big jelly bean. I'm going to take this tool that I have. This is a cutting tool for, for clay. And I'm just going to take the edge, pick anywhere on the ball, and try to go about halfway in. I'm just going to push it down a little bit and wiggle the back. And I open it up just a little bit. And you're creating a space to put the black part of the ladybug's body. So let's go with this one first then. And you've got this bit of black that goes in between. And what I do here is just take a little bit of black and I'm gonna to try to fill that center there. So I'm making like a teardrop shape. And I'm just gonna lay that in there. And just pat it in. <laughs> Cute, huh? So now we've got her body. Okay, next I need to do is make her head. Take a little more black and roll it around till you get the size ladybug head that you think you want. And I'm just gonna push it onto the front. You know what, that head looks like it's off key. So let's pull it over a little bit. See, I can just pull it off, reapply, reshape, and you're good to go. That's better. We're going to add dots to her back. A little famous ladybug dots. And what I'm going to do there is I'm going to take a bit of black and I'm shape it into a tube and I'm going to start rolling it out. And then what I'm going to do is use my little cutter again and just cut a little bit, roll it up, and apply a dot to her back. Okay? So next I'm going for the white clay, so I want to take the residue of the red clay off my hands and just use a damp towel and get that off and that looks good. I'm going to take a tiny little pinch of white, 
tiny, tiny little pinch. And then I'm just going to mold it. Let's just play with it a little bit to make it softer. Okay. And pinch it into two. And I'm going to make two, hopefully, same size beads of white clay. Okay. And we're going to put one on each side. She's going to have big eyes, but I kind of like that. Okay. Her eyes are there. Now, I was talking about beads earlier. I want to add a couple of little bright beads in there for her eyeballs. And all you do is pick a spot and let it sit there for a second so you can make sure that's where you want it. And then just gently push into the clay. And there you have her eyes. Cute. What are we going to do next? We're going to take those antennas I told you that we made out of earrings. And I'm just going to push this into the clay, into her head. Okay, our ladybug is ready to go into the oven. She won't mind. You'll need a dedicated oven to use to bake your creation with your poly clay. And you want that outside, you want it in the house. You want a tile, this is just a regular piece of floor tile. That's what I use, put the clay on it to bake in the oven. She's out of the oven, she's all solid. The antenna stayed in the clay very well. And now we're gonna shine her up. And to do that, we'll need a couple things. You need some form of shellac, which I have. And you need a piece of cardboard. Now this was the tray that the clay actually came in. And I'm just gonna give it a little stir. And she is gonna go for a bath. So here's her bug. You ready? Because this is really cool. Just let her go down and up. And look at that. And since her those really don't need to be shellac, they're already shiny. I gently pick her up and then set her down. Right, and I'll show you what I'm going to do with some of the other ones I made. So we've got these little ladybugs. I have no way to hang them unless you use their antennas. But I thought I would make some really cute magnets. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four magnet dots. So what I'm going to do is use my glue gun. Come here, glue gun. And we're going to put a tiny dot of glue in the belly of the bug. And then we're going to lay, make sure the magnet side's out, sticky side down, and just let that sit. going to make a bumblebee. The bumblebees are fun. A little more involved, but you take some black clay and I'll pull off a chunk. Ugh. Okay, and I'm going to roll this first into a ball and then I'm just going to start rolling it out very much like the ladybugs. Only this time I want the black chunks to be like jelly beans. I want to have a jelly bean shape rather than a round shape. So I'm just going to pull off. You don't really need the cutter. Let's see. And then I'm just going to shape it like a jelly bean. I've got a little black body. And I'm going to roll out some yellow. And I'm going to make her bumblebee stripes. Take one end, start at the bottom of the bee, and I'm just going to roll around and meet up and pull the clay. That's the bottom. I'll do it again. I want three stripes. Okay, so we've got the body. That turned out very nicely. Put the yellow aside. Now we're going to make the head. Now you could put a black head on there or a yellow head. See, these guys are yellow. I guess we'll go with yellow. Take a chunk of yellow and roll it up. So just work it until you get the size that you think you want. 
on there and then I'm just going to set it on the front. Big, big body and little teeny head. Okay. Next we're going to put on a place for the eyeballs. So futz with it till you get two little dots of clay. They're about the same size. Okay, let's go with this. So I'm, I'm on each side of the bug, the bee, and I'm going to put the black eye there and just shape them a little bit so you see what you like there. Now we need to find the next part of the eye, which is the white. So we pulled the tiniest bit of white clay, rolled it into a ball. I want to make two smaller balls. Try to get them the same size if I can. Let's see. Pretty good. Pull a little bit away from one of them. Roll it up. That's good. I want to be able to see some of the black clay under there. And just push that onto the eye. There we go. And now we want to add an iridescent bead. So we're going back to my beads. Simple, shiny, black. And there's a hole in that bead. I try to hide that. Okay, and set it up on this side. Big bulging eyes on this, on this bead. And gently push it in. And now you have your little bee to the eyeballs. I'm going to take a little tool that I have here, the good old nutcracker tool, and I'm just going to put a smile on his face, which means just coming in on either side. What bee doesn't smile, right? <laughs> and I'm just forming a little bit of a, of a mouth. See? So I think that's good. This is a happy bee. Now what do we need? We need a couple more things. And the tips behind his eyes. This will all stick in pretty well when we go to bake it. Okay. Do you want it facing forward? Do you want it facing back? Let's have it face a little bit forward. We're that far now with our bee. What else does the bee need? He needs wings or he's never going to get anywhere. I'm going to take some of the translucent clay. Chunk of it. And I'm going to form two wings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press this into one side of his body. Press the clay into the clay and that holds. You can angle the wing how you want. Do the same on the other side. I'm just going to make some lines like maybe might be in a wing. It reminds me of a leaf pattern, but just as long as you see some lines in there, it looks cool when it's all baked. Okay, one B side, I'm going to do the other. What are we missing? The only thing we're missing now is a stinger. Not that she'd ever want to use it on us, but when I took apart those earrings, I had these tiny little springs that came off, and I'm just going to add one to her butt as a tiny little, won't hurt you, stinger. And she is ready for the oven. Okay, Miss Bumblebee is out of the oven. Isn't she cute? You can just see the translucent clay that's a little bit of the light through. What do you think? You like her? Let's have her take a dive. <laughs> Bumblebees don't usually dive. I don't think that this one's going to. Got my shellac. Give it a stir. And I've got my dedicated spoon. Okay, Bumblebee. That's what she looks like. She's going to come out prettier, watch. Ooh. The translucence looks a little more translucent. And her yellow is very bright, bright, bright. What I've got planned for the bumblebees is I put little teeny hooks into the bumblebees and then I can come by back and put like a Christmas hook or you could use a piece of wire. And what I'm going to do is hang them on a string of lights. For outside I know somebody that really likes bees and I'm going to surprise her with that. I also have an idea to hang some of these bees 
on a jar of honey as a gift, which I thought was cute. So, so far I've made a ladybug and a bumblebee. I'm gonna go for a dragonfly. I love dragonflies. Now dragonflies, I'm gonna use for a project I have in my garden. I'm gonna make some garden tags. So I'm gonna make one of these dragonflies. And here we go, I'm gonna take some teal and I'm just gonna roll it out. I want a bug that's about that long. Okay, save the rest back. Okay. And you've got your little tube, kind of narrowing it at one end. That'll be the tail. And leaving it fatter up this end where the head is. So we've got that shape right there. That's it. I'm gonna roll it a little bit of yellow. This I want thin because this I'm going to use a stripe to make on the dragonfly's body. And all I'm going to do is start, make one end to the bottom, attach, and I'm just going to roll it. That's what I've got. Now I'm just going to roll it gently. That's going to be the head, but I'm going to add a couple of balls of black to make the eyes. So let's see here. Yeah, I want a little more. So making up all the black. I'm going to take it into two and make two balls of black. Try to get them the same as you can. It's going to be his eyeballs. What do you think? One looks bigger. I'm going to take just a little snip more because I like that size there. And what we're going to do is put it on either side here and just going to let them sit there for a minute. Just pat them. That's turning out okay. And then I'm just going to just give a little bit of a push back. Next comes the eyes. So I've got two iridescent beads. And now this time I like the way the hole of the bead shines out, makes them look a little more buggy. And to very gently just push those beads into the eye part of the head. That's what you have. See how pretty they look? A little bit of iridescence. Next comes the wings. Then we'll add some antennas. Iridescent clay again. I'll take a little more of it this time because I want to create four wings. Two larger on the top, two smaller on the bottom. So I'll just pull off some clay. So I'm going to take this tool and I'm just going to make lines. I'm using my finger as a brace underneath the wing. So two earring backs. And I'm going to put them right about by where the eye is. This one, just push it into the clay. Cute. Okay, so here's what you're going to have when he's baked. But what do you want to do with him? Well, I want to hang him. So I'm going to take one more of those pieces of the earring back. I have a piece I cut off. It's a circular end on it. And I'm just going to push it under his head. So I have a place that I can hang him. Okay. And I believe he is ready for the oven. And look here, out of the oven, we have our dragonfly. Very pretty. Guess what happens now, dragonfly? You get dunked like all your other friends. And here we go. We take our shellac, our designated spoon. We have our 
paper or cardboard ready on hand. Okay, get it off, give it a little stir. You're a little bit wide, so I'm gonna be careful. I'm gonna give you a dunk. Oh wow, look at the pretty colors. A few little lines you added to the wings, isn't that pretty? I have some special, special plans for this dragonfly. Ouch, well look, there's bugs. There's bugs. <gasps> Don't worry. Get him. <laughs> just a bee. It's just a bee. It won't sting you. It's a friendly bee. Yes, and we made dragonflies and we made some ladybugs. See? No harm done. They're so pretty. We use them out in the garden. And we'll use them to decorate around the house. If you like what you've seen here today, you're not afraid, are you? Give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and leave us a comment. We'd like to hear what bugs you during the summer. What else do you say? See you next time.